Good morning friends, today we are going to discuss about how to use our Android phone as a web camera. The first thing that comes to my mind when I talk about using Android phone as a web camera would be, so why the hell do we need Android phone as a web camera when we already have a camera in our laptops inbuilt? Two reasons. The reason number one could be that what if you don't have a camera at all, you are still using a PC. There are a lot of people who are using a PC and they might need to use in fact, buy a new hardware piece. Why do we need to buy a hardware piece? And the next thing is that the laptop camera that the camera that you get with your laptop is, you know, quite stick. You cannot move it anywhere you want. You cannot do this basically with your laptop camera. Can you? Like you cannot see whatever you want to see like this. Okay? And also you do not get this feature with your inbuilt camera. Can you see? pitch dark and then you can use LED flashlights pitch dark LED flashlights well I don't think you can get this with your inbuilt laptop cameras can you so let's not wait a lot of your time and let's get into the part where I tell you how do we get this thing done so now let me just get into the part that how do we get this thing working uh, I mean how do we start using our Android phones as a camera web camera for a PC the first thing is we will need an Android application known as IP camera if you can see I have already searched for IP camera in my mobile and IP camera this application is already installed in my mobile phone and what you need to do is I can op I need to open this camera and all the way I scroll down and I see the start server and as soon as I press the start server button you can see there is an HTTP 168.1.101.8080 option there yes that is the server address that I need to actually visit to start browsing my camera if you can see here I am I am serving the same address that was present in my web in my mobile phone screen 192.168.1.101 and 8080 so that's the same thing that I'm gonna browse here and once I browse that I have this ready so I can use this camera as a flash rendering now this is my second camera that I have just installed I can use it as a flash or I can use it as a JavaScript I can also get the audio from my phone as an HTML file, file. See, if see, you can, if you see, can see, there would, there would I can I also, can also get, get my audio, audio from, my, from phone. my phone. So, in fact, this can this your phone can act as a security device if you are connected to the same Wi-Fi, and then you can also switch on and switch off your LED lights from here from the screen. Quite a nice feature, and you can go full screen. To record something like this so that's it for the today's video thank you friends oh almost forgot to tell you that in the next video we're going to discuss about how do we use our android app android camera that we are just configured in video chatting applications like skype and other video chats that we have the facebook chat and the other chat applications keep visiting